Tech TV, Experience Educational Television. AAIPTC collaborates with WPSI to organize sensitization workshop on GBP for community actors. The Kofi Annan Peacekeeping Center collaborated with WPSI and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Denmark to organize a sensitization workshop on gender-based violence for community actors in Ashanti region. Let me first take this opportunity to express our gratitude to the government of Denmark for supporting this workshop organized by the center through its Women, Peace and Security Institute. This program took place at the Sunset Hotel from the 7th of June to the 11th of June 2021. There were 30 participants which included representatives from civil society organizations, traditional leaders, religious leaders, non-governmental organizations, Ghana Police Service, the media and the law court. My job here this morning is just to set the basis of what, what are the concepts, what are the other what, what, how, what do we understand by gender abuse violence? What are the different types of things? What are the definitions that are there? How, the, how does it take in terms of nature? It's not, I'm not going to give theoretical definitions. We are going to have a conversation about it. What, what, do, you, what do you mean by gender abuse violence? What are the different forms or types of definitions of it within the context that we find ourselves? The facilitators who contributed immensely to the program came from the Ghana Police Service. KAIPTC and TV3. The second is about procedural correctness to make sure that the procedures that are set out in the laws are uh, properly followed and thirdly to ensure that um, the fundamental human rights of every citizen is not infringed upon. Violence against women and girls has been noted to be one of the most prevalent human rights violations in the world. The World Bank, for example, has highlighted on its website that gender-based violence against women and girls is a global pandemic that affects one to three women in their lifetime. How do we use these different practices in a way that we are able to appreciate our context as Africans, our context as Ghanaians, at the same time, see what our laws say first and foremost and apply it in a way that we appreciate our uniqueness first and foremost, but also apply the law. Topics which were discussed were causes of gender-based violence, effects and impacts of GBV, international legal framework, regional legal framework, institutional framework, prevention and response guidelines and approaches. Participants asked practical questions and were deliberated for possible implementations. Be a woman in Ghana means there's so much societal expectation of um, you being submissive to stay at home and take care of the kids. Normally when you are working, everybody is expecting you to be home. Uh, you are limited to some leadership positions. To be a man in Ghana makes me more powerful and there is justification for any action I take against any woman. Any woman. A rep from Ashanti Region Police Command spoke to the media on how they are tackling GBV. One of the things that upsets me is when young girls who are not of age are given out in marriage. I think it's something that is coming up day in and day out. And uh, it's something that we all must bring our shoulders to the wheels to stop it. Also, a rep from Kofi Annan Peacekeeping Center interacted with the media on the need for organizing the program. And she's schooling maybe JSS3 and she's being gotten married. What, what, when these things happen, they report to the 
those who commander, Madam Derry, in fact, she has been a very good help. When these things happen, we go and nullify the marriage and the perpetrators are arrested. Participants were awarded certificates at the end of the program. Tech TV, experience educational television.